And so let's just have a little look from the outside first. Just take a little look over here. Because this is where I'm actually going to go. I'm going to just go for a little look down this way. I'm going to go a, bit, a little bit higher. What I'm looking for is any problems. Not with what they're doing. But problems in the flight. So I'm just going to gain a little bit more altitude while I'm going forward. Because I know that after about 30 metres or so, with the ambient with the ambient noises that, that are going on. Oh, I wonder what that marking is to the left there. Oh. Not quite sure what that is. But it looks like it's just all screened off. Okay. Well, maybe they're just marking out. You're gonna have um, sports fields in here and such. I'm not gonna know exactly I'm just going to drop this down a little bit just to try and keep that sort of clarity there. Now, let's just take a peek around to the right. You'll see a couple of the workmen there. So it shouldn't really make any difference to them what I'm doing. And hopefully they won't even be able to hear. The drone itself because it should be up high enough if I go up to just under 40 meters I think so we can try and have a look over the back now I'm only going to be flying, flying line of sight because I do believe that that's uh, a good safe way of doing it I've got 87 percent on the battery so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Now I did fully charge the batteries before I came out. And as, as you can see by the size of this place, I mean this place is big. It is big. It'll be interesting to see what happens now, signal wise. As big old tractors go past. Nothing, that's nice. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to just move off here to the pit, a little tiny bit, move myself around, at the same time give it a little bit of a yaw, just to I'm always making sure I keep that visual line of sight, I do like the idea of knowing where it is, I'm going to step in front of the camera. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see then, this is quite a big site. I'll be very careful as well when I come back, I think, if I need to use the return to home or anything. So I can't actually see any so it's just one massive site I mean this is the school but it's going to be accommodating uh, a lot more children and the main reason for that is uh, I'm going to go up a little bit again there and the main reason for that is because these schools are all going to be combined, you see. So let me just drop that down there. And then just go up a little tiny bit more. I've got to about 30 metres. That'll do. And that's plenty. So I know that um, even if I needed to do a return to home, I could probably do it on 40 metres and avoid everything. No, I don't expect to get challenged here or anything like that. Because there's absolutely no reason for it. But this is, uh, yeah, it's... 
some breezy bits coming over. So if I just do a quick little look around here, I mean look at that countryside at the background there. I don't know what's going to be going over there, I don't know if that's going to be car parking, I mean you're going to have a whole bunch of car parking down here at the front but there's going to be school fields, I'm pretty sure that there will be a um, warning strong wind fly precaution. I do like that when it comes up on the screen, I really really do. So I'm just going to push over a little time bit, just doing a little bit of a, a gander on what's going on over there. And uh, a little bit of a yule maybe. But as you can see, even when the craft says about uh, looking over there, the big, that strong wind, it's still not a, it's still not a problem to the craft. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to see how much I can. See around the back of there. I don't really want to go too fast here. I'm just going to keep an eye out for those wind warnings. But isn't this uh, it's fantastic? Absolutely fantastic. I just that back a bit here so we can see this and uh, continue around here so this is the entire site of the school it looks very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Wow. It just seems like it goes on forever. But of course that can't possibly be the case. But still. A little tiny little look over there. Just uh, there's all their building supplies and and such. Carry on down that way. Just gonna bring that round. So yeah, I mean that is So that is the school. I'm just literally gonna go across these easy these are gonna be um So I'm very impressed. I mean, this has not taken long at all to put this up. These guys have been cracking at this for, it just doesn't seem that long at all. But yeah, they've been going at this and just getting it done. I suppose that's the difference, you know, when you're on real big bucks. And uh, you have to get the jobs done because they want to demolish the other school. They're planning on building lots of houses and that's really going to go against what people wanted. They certainly didn't want a bunch of houses uh, being built. I've got to be very careful here now because there's a whole bunch of trees this way, as you can see. So all I'm going to do now, there's the uh, one of the entrances there. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go forward now. I might actually... Uh, yeah, let's just start pushing this forward to wrap this up. So 
sorry about this bit first. Just trying to uh, ensure that I don't startle anybody to see the people on the raised lift there. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I'm impressed so much because it just doesn't seem like this has been going on too long. It seems like this is a, a job that is successfully moving forward. Because only a couple of weeks ago, none of this cladding was on. None of the cladding was on the outside. And um, it's just so so surprising how quick they're getting on with it true professionals true professionals but like I say I bet there's big bucks on this to get it done on time big bucks and they certainly are they certainly are I'm just going to move forward a little bit, just make sure I don't get too close to those trees. I'll just bring that down there. There we go. I don't think there's going to be a lot to see there. That's in the way of probably another path things down there. Just with that last little bit of battery, a little downward, downward view. Just, uh, just over what we've been over. I can see the drone. The drone's right in front of me. It's quite high up. It's 46 meters. I'm actually going to bring that down a little bit. Just bring it down to about 35 meters because it doesn't really need to be that high now. I just wanted to sh ensure. My thumb is twitching. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, make sure that we had absolutely no way of going anywhere near those. Um, near those. So I, I'm going to imagine all this then will be the staff car park. You know, we're not going to expect a lot of the kids to have. Um, so you can see the boundary there with the, the way they got the half circle there and the. Oh, in the quarter circle, I suppose. Mm. And uh, there's uh, some of the work containers right behind the trees. Lovely. But that is one seriously fast job. One seriously fast job. Hi. Yeah. Some people say hi, some people don't. Some people think, you know, if you're doing something, uh, shouldn't. So we got a, another high wind warning. So again, I'm just going to bring it down. So other ways to help bring it out. And now I'm going to be backing out of here anyway. We're on 42% of the battery. And we've had a little look around. That's quite nice. Got a good vantage point. A little, a little nose at that, just one. There's a few. Wow, so they are getting on with it, aren't they? They're definitely getting on with it, that's for sure. There's a chap there doing his job, fantastic, absolutely fantastic.
and the wind and it is i mean if i looked on the uh the drone advisory today it says you know you can't go out at this minute in time just because there's uh all the wind but i think it's a little bit of a judder on the picture but anyway i think that's it i think what we're going to do now is um just going to bring it in and uh and call it a day for this zoom out and start lowering it down And there we go. Successful flight. A nice little pace around. All back in.